Now, from her bomb shelter in Kharkiv in the Ukraine, our next guest has become an online sensation for sharing her violin performances on social media, where she plays in the hopes of lifting the spirits of others that are sheltering. Yes, Vera Liskovchenko joins us on the line from Kharkiv. But before we chat to Vera, let's take a look at one of her performances. <laughs> Incredible. Vera, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really Hi, appreciate you giving us our, your time this morning. You might just start by telling us where you are, Vera, and exactly where you are based in Kharkiv at the moment. Mm, hello. I'm uh, still in Kharkiv, and um, now, just now, I'm in my flat, in my house. Uh, I'm sitting on the corridor. I will show you. Right. It's a place where I sleep because it's a safer place in the flat. Mm. Unfortunately, we had to leave our cellar several days ago because of uh, problems with plumbing. It was damaged after bombing. So now we all return to our flats. It's uh, unfortunately more dangerous, but uh, it's known only our options now. So we're sleeping in our corridors, in our flats. And Vera, tell us, what is, or do you have any idea of, of what the situation is in terms of the city around you? I mean, are you able to get out of the building at all? Or, you know, or, or are you staying there? Um, Honestly, I can leave my uh, flat, I can leave my house, and many of us uh, uh, can go to stores for mm. humanitarian aid, but you know, it's still dangerous, because mm. uh, just yesterday and the day before yesterday, uh, several bombs drop uh, to the city just to the queue, uh, for the queue for humanitarian aid, and people died there. Wow. So um, it's really uh, dangerous to stay in the streets now. So um, I'm not so brave to walk uh, on streets now, and I prefer to stay most of my time in house. But Vera, your bravery stems from the fact that you've been, you know, making headlines all over the world for your beautiful performances that we just saw there. Um, you know, how difficult is it to to perform, and how are you feeling when you perform? And, and why did you decide to do these videos for everyone? Yeah, you're right. It was difficult um, at first uh, psycho psychologically and physically because, you know, the first days it was uh, such terrible, such uh, shocking and uh, nobody um, feels strange to do something like music. We, uh, we thought, I don't know, we thought that we will die. We, we can uh, think about uh, just our surviving. But then, you know, uh, while sitting in the cellar, uh, we had an internet there, unfortunately, and I saw the video of my student Maria who played in the subway station mm -hmm. where she hid from bombing. And she bring her violin with her there and uh, she uh, began to play her violin for people around her and she loaded this video to the internet. I saw this video and I decided um, it's so. Um, she's so brave. Mm -hmm. She yeah. she showed so much strength. <clears throat> so I decided if this young girl can do it, so I, her teacher, just must do something like this. Mm -hmm. And I really pushed myself to play violin mm -hmm. for my neighbors uh, to distract them from. Uh, terrible thoughts about war uh, from uh, fear mm -hmm. and um, but it gives people I hope Vera too it gives people hope your music music lifts so. the soul you're, you're clearly an incredible musician Vera you know and you know <laughs> in your in your uh, when you're doing these these videos it gives it gives you and those people around you who are in that incredibly horrific situation a kind of sense of normality you know they can try and they can take away the place where you live they can take away the, the city that you're in, but they're not going to take away who you are 
uh, in terms of being a musician. You know, that, that sense of normality has to try and remain, doesn't it? Yes, it's right. And one of my main messages is to show that uh, we are still human and yeah. we still have our culture, we still have our music and it uh, gives us uh, strength and uh, hope. I don't want <clears throat> just to cry, to, to be scared. Yeah. I want uh, uh, people around me uh, to have hope and uh, just to know that um, we are still alive and we will win. We will wait and we will uh, take this victory.